Alrighty, so I just kind of wanted to come on here, give a little background info on how I'm feeling with this whole restarting this channel for like the umpteenth million time. Um, I feel like I'm finally in a much different headspace, and I'm sure I've said that before, but I like truly believe it this time, and I'm kind of doing things a bit differently. I'm not trying to have a huge setup or like make this like a big deal. Like I'm trying to make memories for myself and kind of just do it for fun, which is what I always wanted it to be for, but I never actually let myself do it that way, and I think that that is kind of why I never stuck with it or why it never panned out is because I didn't do it because I wanted to do it. I did it because I wanted it to become something bigger and now I'm finally just doing it just for me. So yeah, the point of this video itself though is nothing to do with that. Um, it's actually going to be about my minimal summer makeup routine. I mean, in the past, I mean, I get down with a beat face, to my nice eye shadow, doing it all. But recently, I realized that's not really my style. And so I kind of do things a little bit differently. Going definitely for, like, the no makeup makeup kind of look going on. I don't really wear it that much anymore. And, yeah, this is the steps I kind of go through and the products I use. Right now, honestly, I my skin was doing pretty well. I have a mirror over here, so if I look over here, that's why. But today I woke up and I have like all these little bumps in here, so solid. Um, in the morning, I use my Clarisonic and I wash my face with the Tata Harper Clarifying Cleanser. It's green and it smells really weird, but my face has definitely cleared up, cleared up, so I'd say it's doing its job. All right. After that, after I wash my face, I go in with... Apparently, I drop everything first. But I'm going in with the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. And then I always make sure to have a separate sunscreen than anything that's in any of the other products that I use. So the one I'm using right now is the Super Goop uh, Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. Got to protect your skin. Especially since I was at the beach for two weeks this past week. Alright. Now I kind of just focus a lot on the skin. And the oop what I'm going to put on first before anything, I've been loving this. Sometimes I wear it all by itself, but today I'm just going to add a little bit of extra stuff to it. Um, the True Match Lumi Glotion. This stuff is amazing. Um, it just adds like a bit of a sheen to your skin. I'm using the shade 903. It comes in four shades, 901, 902, 903, and 904. I could probably use 904 right now because I'm actually like tan. Because I was at the beat. I've lately been either just using a sponge or my hands because I just, I can't. I can't deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with brushes and that crap. So I'm kind of just using a lot of cream liquid products and just slathering it on my face. Um... For foundation, I'm going to go in with the brand new Dior Backstage um, Face and Body Foundation. I'm using the shade 2WO, so I'm pretty sure that's just too warm olive. And I'm just literally just squeezing that onto my hand. And then I'm just going to rub it in. This foundation, you can definitely build it up, but you could definitely just be like what I'm using it for. Just kind of to even things out. If you don't use that much of it, it can just kind of make an even layered canvas on your skin. Um, yeah. Sometimes I've gotten to this point where 
Sometimes I feel like under eye concealer just kind of makes my eyes look worse rather than better or brighter or I don't know. I honestly just sometimes it doesn't feel like it would be that it's not that beneficial for me. So sometimes I go in with this RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer in shade 22. And it's actually like extremely light for me right now because of my tan. But if I do, I just kind of like take it underneath my eyes. Sometimes I'll take like one dip of it and use it for both under eyes. And for anyone wondering, this concealer is, I really like it, but it's basically a straight mix between the it's a straight mix between these two concealers the NARS uh, matte velvet or soft matte complete concealer and the Glossier um, stretch concealer because this one is like I feel like it's it gets super slippery especially if you don't set it and then this one can just be like two mattes sometimes. So like this is a great in between if you were looking for a pot concealer and didn't get on with either of those. Not that I don't like don't. It's not that I don't like either of these. I actually really like both of them. They're just for different situations. Um. So yeah, and then. A lot of times at this point, I'll go in with a cult classic, kind of my favorite summer product right now, and like every summer, the Chanel Soleil de Chanel, Soleil Tan de Chanel, so really using just kind of like a denser kabuki brush, and just kind of, I know Morphe makes ones exactly like this, but this one's from Tarte, and it was from a collection. A Christmas collection, a holiday collection. Which those are going to be coming out soon, which is like super exciting because Tarte always does the best brush sets during the holidays. I love seeing what everyone comes out with. So, I don't know if just me, me talking about this. I can like talk about other stuff. Um, this week, we are taking my sister to college which is exciting and then we have like a month of like calm me we meaning like me and Ryan school's gonna start back up and then it is just the rest of the semester is literally madness like today we're going to meet Ryan's cousin to talk about um going to Nashville over Thanksgiving. So we're gonna go for like probably a week and go down to Nashville. And then before that, we're going to Nashville again at the end of September. And then the following weekend, we go to Disney World for the weekend. And then the following weekend, we go up and visit my sister at school and go to a big football game. The weekend after is parents weekend, but I think there's something else going on that weekend. And so this is all into October, and then the following week is Ryan's birthday, and then there's um, going up to another football game. There's so, there's just so much going on right now that, like, I can't even keep track of it. But I'm going to talk about what I'm doing next instead of just rambling on and on. I'm going to take this. I tried these brushes from a brand called Makissa, this F11 brush. I kind of just like the shape of it. I mean, you can literally find these anywhere. It's kind of basically like a classic blush brush, but, but like I don't use it for blush. I'm going to take this in my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and just kind of swirl it around and kind of just use it to dust all over my face just to set it a little bit. I'm going to take this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and kind of just bronze a little bit more mainly just because I love this product. This is actually the bronzer shade. And this is the best freaking bronzer ever. Um, 
Physicians formula is a bit more expensive for a drugstore, but I freaking love it. I used to try new bronzers all the time. And I like love trying new bronzers, but I haven't gotten a new bronzer in so long. My favorite product to try is always foundation. Always. I don't know why. I just love base products. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the RMS concealer and put it over my eyelids. And normally I would say I like set it. I know that this is going to just like basically fall off of my eyelids. But I'm just gonna take a big, a bigger eye brush, like a so it's basically a shader brush, but it's like fatter. It's from Eco Tools. It came in a set, so I don't know if you can get. I mean, obviously, most Eco Tools Eco Tool stuff are sets, so it'd be harder to find this individually. But it was at a set at Target. Um, I'm just gonna go in to this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Took this shade and that shade. I love how I'm so descriptive. I actually have like the original palette, so it doesn't have the names on the back like the newer ones do. So yeah, I think it just creates like a little bronzy gold moment on the eye. I mean, my mascara. I'm using the Lancome Monsieur Big in the waterproof version, and this stuff is. And then I'm probably just gonna uh, show you my brow products. These are brow products I'm gonna use. Um, I got the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Gel stuff. Great, great. It actually, I think this is way better than the Glossier Boy Brow. This product right here. I love them both, but I like this one better because it holds my brows in place, but it also doesn't make them crunchy, so. That is a tip. This one is more expensive, but I think it's worth the money. And this is the fatter version of L'Oreal's eye pencil range. I mean, everyone does stuff like this, but I think that these are pretty comparable to Benefit and the Anastasia ones that I've used before. And these are so much cheaper, and I go through brow products so fast. They also have a skinnier one, and I use them both, so... I use them both in the shade brunette, and yeah, some drugstore eye products, eyebrow products right here, and those are hard to come by. I'm just going to take a little bit of the butter, the butter highlighter from Physicians Formula in Rose Gold and mix it with a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter and put that on my cheeks with the uh, Morphe R36 brush. And yeah, so I'm gonna go do my brows off camera and I will see you when my face is completely done. All right, so it took all of like two seconds. Um, the bigger one, I forget, I like don't even know what it's called. That's really helpful. But this one, the bigger one, it kind of just like run it through my brows. Make sure that it doesn't get too fat on the tail ends. And then just run the brow gel through and good to go. So, not wearing blush. Also, this is the completed look. I will probably put on a little bit of a lip balm. Maybe we'll wear this. I'm going to wear this one actually. It's Chanel Coco Rouge Coco. Shine lipstick in Julia, or it's not even the shine, it's just Rouge Coco. Um, it's 404 Julia, and I think it's very pretty. Just a little wash of color, and that's what I prefer in the summer. So, yeah, this is the 
completed look. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Kind of what I wear on the day to day. I don't want to look too crazy. Sometimes I don't wear the eyeshadow. Sometimes my highlighter changes, products change. But this is kind of the look I've been going for. And kind of the look that I feel most confident and comfortable in. So, yeah. I will talk to you in the next one. And hopefully it'll, I mean, hopefully. It'll probably be a vlog. I don't really know at this point. I don't really know what this channel is really going to be mainly because I kind of just want to do what I want to do and film. If I think of an idea of filming something, then I'll pick up the camera and film. It might be more thought out and like prepared videos, but it might just be like, oh, hey, thought of this. Let me film it. So, or just like a follow along with me vloggy kind of stuff. So, yeah, who knows where this is going to go, but I'm excited about it, and I'm ready to grab it by the horns and start doing it. So, yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.